what, this year? I, I went on a run this year. From March to April, I did eight weeks or something, seven weeks. Yeah, I thought you got up to ten at yeah, one point. Yeah, just to really try. And it was driving down to LAX every week is fucking a lot I start on Wednesday. Doing two podcasts a week at six in the morning. So I had to revamp it. I'm moving the podcast later now. You know, tomorrow I usually be leaving on a Thursday morning. Oh, today's Monday. I usually be leaving on Thursday morning. So, so that's how we do it. Just to give them the better show so I'm in better shape. Three weeks in a row. He knows. You know. And especially what he's doing. Wednesday through Sunday. By Friday, you're about to fucking kill yourself. <laughs> Thank God we have the Death Squad people that come to the shows. Oh, and yeah. It makes it a little easier. Saturday is a great day. I'm excited as fuck Saturday. Saturday, I know it's all Death Squad. I know I'm going to fucking go out there and whatever I say, we're going to take them on a journey. And we're going to get paid. That's and we're going to get on a plane. We're going to leave. That Sunday, when you wake up from that high... Even if you don't do blow, when you wake up from Saturday night, two shows to Sunday, and you call the club at four, you watch, you slip to ten. You, the NFL comes on, you know. It's horrific. You watch both fucking games, and then you call the club and go, "Hey, how are we doing?" They're like, "We have eighty-eight tickets left, but you're gonna do great walking." Uh, I'm fucking tired. It's time to go. Yeah. Then you put on CNN. There's a, a fucking rainstorm coming your way. And you'll leave it, you know, no, there's ways to do this. Yeah, I take a hit by leaving at 7 o'clock in the morning Sunday, but I'm in my bed by 11. And that's, it's a straight journey. It's, it's the most important thing. If I, I used to dilly-dally. Let me take the 2 o'clock flight. What, oh, I know. You learn. What the fuck are you going to do in a hotel room until 2 o'clock? Your day is gone. You're going to land here at 6, 405. Good luck. Ah! Get the fuck out of there. Get the, who gives a fuck? You're in your house at 12. And I save time, I save aggravation. And that's what it's all about when you're a comic, is not being fucking aggravated. It's the truth. Any thoughts, Tom Segura? No, man, you're the best. Hit me with something, Tom. You, know, you drop something out. You got the Cuban beard, you got the Fidel look, you know. You show up with no fucking sayings. No sayings. You ever have a question that really fucks with you and it shouldn't fuck with you? Yeah. Like last night, I was just I was watching Sports Center before bed, and I went to Mike Trout and I said, Would you rather hate a home run? Or would you rather steal a home run, like, take it away from somebody? And for some reason, I got in my head, like, it, it decides what kind of person you are. Like, if you want to be a go-getter or if you just want to. And it, it fucked with me for, like, hours. Like, I, I couldn't come up with an answer. If I wanted to hit a home run or steal a home run. And I wasn't high, and I, just, I, I don't know why it fucked with me, with me for so long. And I have no idea how I'd answer it. Do you have, like, a, prof you have like a student's notebook? Listen, Lee, who gives a fuck if you hit a home run or catch a home run? Right. That's the point. You don't the fucking chocolate. That's, I've been telling you this for years. If you eat that chocolate, questions like that, you will <laughs> look at that shit and go, you know what? Go fuck yourself, ESPN. Let's start off with honest. See, you got to take some... If you took Alpha Brain, Lee, you wouldn't think about I wouldn't care shit. about this question. Who gives a fuck? Well, I want a home run. I got to take... You watch too much ESPN. I've been telling you that since I met you. More fucking and less what ESPN. What is that? More eating pussy and less ESPN. More push-ups and less ESPN. It's fucking your mind up. Making your mind up mush. Talk to this fucking guy. Hey, man. Stop with the I know you watched center. just as much ESPN. And you were high last night, were you not? A, l a little bit at the end. Unbelievable. This is why you got to go to Are you a big sports center guy? Yeah, it big. just it replays. And then there's NFL Live, and that's He'll cool. He'll watch sports in the 12th. I know when I call him. <laughs> what are you doing? I'm done. I'm, I'm, I'm I'm looking at Steve Simone's CD. He's watching sports. <laughs> he sits there all day and he gives a fuck. Like, and he watches the clock and they talk and game shows and you believe everything Stefan whatever says about the NBA. You fucking get up. Who? Get together. Whatever his name is. The black guy. with the Oh, guys. that guy's annoying as hell. Oh, he's pissing everybody off. Anyway, for maximization, <laughs> optimization, all right? On it. They ain't fucking around over there, all right? Some people, they got one a day and all these shit fucking things that don't do dick for you. On it improves who you are. It improves. It makes you be the best you could fucking be. If you're a kid and you want to go back to college, you want to read, you want to stay up all night, you don't have to take meth like the rest of these fucking jerk-offs. Take some, <laughs> take some an alpha brain. Don't take meth. Alpha take brain alpha. will make you fucking focus. I'm telling you, two alpha brains, you're up and fucking hopping. In fact, my alpha brain cycle starts again on Monday after the surgery because I'm home for four weeks. 
I got to write a bunch of material, so I'm going to focus. You know what? Go to onnit.com and look at everything they got. Boom. They got something for you, whether it's Strong Bone, whether it's fucking... Uh, New Mood. Shroom Tech, whether it's the fucking enzymes, the mango enzymes, whether it's a thing that you go like that and you get your muscles. They got kettlebells. They got everything on it. What's your code word? Go to Onnit. What's the code word? Church. Church, and get 10% off while you're there. Stay on it. Stay on it. Get it sent to your house on the first like a real human being. You got to go to the store and order it. Just stay on it. First time you sign up for stay on it, you get 20% off. That's how I roll here. What do you put in the box? Church. Like a bad motherfucker that you are. C-H-U-R-C-H. Also, a shout out to some of my fucking best. I love you, cocksuckers. Hulu Plus. You can watch Hulu Plus anytime, <laughs> anywhere. Seven ninety nine a month. You're saying, Joey, how is that possible? Seven ninety nine a month. You can watch on any streaming fucking device that you want. You understand me? On uh, our smart TV, Roku, Apple, Xbox, pretty much any. If it streams, you're fucking watching Hulu Plus. That's how we work. <laughs> Listen, if you watch a commercial for Hulu Plus, they're gonna give, they'll give you what, Lee? They're gonna give you two weeks. That's it. They, Uncle Joey, we go a step further here on the church of what's happening now. If you put Joey in the box, J O E Y, you get two weeks for free and seven ninety nine a fucking month. So fuck the seven ninety nine a month. They ain't doing you no favors. When you run with Uncle Joey, you get two weeks for free. Huluplus.com. They don't fuck around. <laughs> <laughs> Smart TV, Roku, Apple, seven ninety nine a month. I'm offering my listeners two weeks on the arms gratis. You know why? Because that's how we roll. All right. Don't fucking get carried away here. I love you guys. Hulu. You know what shows they got? Let me show you what they got. They got the Daily Show, Family Guy, I Want to Marry Harry, Gang Related, Grow Up Fisher, America's Got Talent. Last night with Seth Meyers. They got South Park. Night. Did you know about South Park? They got keeping up with the Kardashians. Everybody hates Chris. Fucking SpongeBob. <laughs> they got everything. Yo Guo. That's how we do it. HuluPlus.com. Also, it's like you're selling cars, but it's what it's, the fuck? It's Dollar Spongebob. Shave Club. Why are you standing online like a fucking asshole when you could just go? The Dollar Shave Club for a dollar, six dollars, or nine dollars a month. Nine dollars a month. Nine times, ninety. How much is that a year? One oh eight a year, and you got razors set right to your fucking house. You go there, you stand on line, you gotta smell some Arab. His armpit smells like onions and fucking lime, and you gotta stand there and pay twenty bucks for three fucking razors. No more. I'm gonna give you a year of razors, a dollar, six dollars, and nine dollars a month, and. What are they pressing the box? You get me all agitated. Church. Church. C H U R C H. And you get a dollar, six dollars, or nine dollars. Dollar Shave Club. That's how they roll. All right. Hold oh, on. Let me tell you something. I love when I get a product that I can fucking sell and push it to you people correctly. I love hitesig.com. I love these motherfuckers. The this ads. cigar right now rocks. Their cigarettes rock. You looking to quit smoking? They got zero, eight, 16, and 24 milligram cigarettes for you to quit smoking on your own fucking pace. All right, let's say you want to smoke a cigar. You want to blow it in somebody's face. You don't want to light it and turn it off. You buy one of these right now. Mm, 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 mm. We're going in like fucking Marines. You understand me? Welcome to church, motherfucker.